the United States, Tara Lipinski. And here is the world champion. She's got some work to do after the performance by Michelle Kwan, but she is in front of a crowd here in Detroit. She lives and trains here in second place, trying to win this title. Well, of the top ladies here, Tara has the most technically difficult program planned, and her growth spurt of two inches doesn't seem to have affected her one bit. Triple flip. Watch the preparation. The three turn. The tap in. Very solid. Wonderfully, exquisitely tight revolution. That was brilliant. Now in this triple lutz that she has coming up, note the high free leg kick that she uses going into this jump. I always wonder how they can quite keep their emotion and their strength going with that. But watch it. Here it is right here. Right there. Uh, oh. And you see, that I'm sure is part of the problem. You can't raise the foot and then slam it into the ground and expect to complete the jump with security. This is where I see the dramatic improvement in the feeling and expressing of the music. That's what she's been working on this past year. Sandra Bezik, her choreographer. Her triple loop, triple loop combination, the most difficult combination. Oh, she that's, makes that look easy. That's wonderful. I mean, that's just brilliant. These spins are a little weak. There's not a lot of stretch in the positions. Not a whole lot of speed. Well, one thing is clear, Carol Lipinski is a great competitor. Watch now as she does this second triple lutz after falling on the first. Watch the kick to see if it's high. Not as high as it was in the first. The jump much steadier and much more secure. Triples, triple toe. There's a little hop into a triple sal cow. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Just a fraction off. And you know why that was? That was because she added an extra step before the last triple sal cow, and it put her a measure or two behind. Right. And that's why she stopped uh, right after this end of the music. She is just amazing. Tara Lipinski. The one blemish early on. But there'll be no knockout punch delivered here in Joe Lewis Arena tonight. They're outside of that, the crowd got everything they hoped to see. Well, she knows it wasn't her best performance. I think you can see that right here in this rather dejected exit. 
Well, she does not like to lose. She doesn't like to make mistakes. You could tell by the look on her face when she left the ice that Tara Lipinski may have done both of those tonight. And here is a look at that mistake on her triple Lutz. Watch the three leg bounce in. And she just didn't get the rhythm in the spring to get up in the air to complete the triple jump. And here is the spectacular triple loop, triple loop combination. She is the only female that even attempts this combination. Very, very difficult. 5.7. Remember, a free skate, at least on paper, was more difficult than Michelle Kwan. She did have the mistake. to see how much that costs her here. Well, the five sevens among those, that, that number of judges means that she's almost lost five tenths of a point right there on that one move. Now, in this combination, look at how good her technical merit is, but the combination isn't as good. She had extra turns here and extra pushes, and this, even though this salk out was wonderful, caused her to end slightly after the end of her music. And you can see the look on her face, the disappointment she knows that she will not catch Michelle Kwan here in Detroit. I think the disappointment on her face is less than catching Michelle Kwan than having made a mistake. She is not a young lady that likes to make mistakes. Take my word for it.